Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back. This is Force here with some more Friday Night Magic. And today we are going to be playing the evil land destruction. Yes, we played a couple weeks ago. People were super upset. <laughs> They're like, Force, you are the worst. I am unsubscribing. You are the meanest, most horrendous per- You know what, land destruction? Yeah, I'll admit, it's pretty- <laughs> It's pretty- It's pretty mischievous. It's pretty evil. That's why I like it. Who knows, maybe I've got a dark side. It's quite possible. It is entirely possible. So this is a tricolor LD deck. Blue, green, and red. Uh, so we've got the Demolishes, the Teutonic Rifts. We also have Mold Shamblers in here. And uh, some Fetch. Some uh, Pingin' for like early game stuff. Uh, one more turn, we're gonna be able to cultivate. We'll be digging... I think, for, yeah, we'll just dig for two blue so that we could afford Talrans in the future. And then we'll be able to play our land destruction in the upcoming turn. Now, he has got the Cultivate, unfortunately. Um, so, I don't know how successful this is going to be. We did get off... We are getting off to a little bit of a slow start, but... We've got some stuff coming up. So, we, yeah, we're going to double blue here so that we can afford the Talrand in the future. So, there's our two blue. One goes into play, one goes into our hand. Next turn, we'll be sitting on five mana. Um... I don't know that I'm going to play the Talrans first. I think I actually want to pop his Citadel right away. We'll see what he does right now. Plays an Attendant Knight. Hmm. Maybe I will Talrans first. Um, yeah, maybe I will go with the Talran first. That way we get the blue flyers coming up. I don't know if he's going to have removal for it or not. Let's just, yeah, let's go ahead and do the Talrans right now. If he plays anything that I really want to get rid of, we can Vapor Snag in the future. Uh, so bounce it back to his hand. And then we'll be able to do only one LD next turn. But I'm going to get rid of his Tricolor land. So that gets rid of his green source. Which is actually a pretty big deal. And, I mean, we've got three LD in our hands, so we could potentially knock him down to just three lands in the upcoming turns. Captain of the Watch, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. <laughs> I think that alone is gonna kill us. Uh, shoot, man. That's not good. We don't, because we don't have any mass removal. I guess I could just Banefire his Captain of the Watch. That's gonna pump down his minions. I think I kinda have to do that. I think we have to Banefire his Captain of the Watch. So we're gonna do it for uh, three. I'm gonna Banefire this right here. That's the perfect land. I want the blue for the Vapor Snag. So that powers down his dudes, gives us a flyer. I just can't, with all of those guys at 2-2, I would die very soon. So at least this gives me a flyer to block now. We've got the mana for the Vapor Snag coming up. And we'll start our LD shenanigans next turn. I don't like waiting this long. And in hindsight, I, I, I should have. Because if I had killed one of his lands before, that would have stopped him from playing the captain. When this enters the battlefield, what does he do? Return to our uh, non- Creature non-land card from a graveyard to your hand. Okay, but he gets a land fetch back, but we're gonna pop his green source So we actually can't play that cultivate right now So that's that's actually I'm, I'm okay with that. He's not gonna be able to play his cultivate um, So we'll just go with a I don't expect him We'll just go with a Demolish. I don't expect him to have artifacts. So we're gonna go with a Demolish. We're gonna pop his green source. It's gonna get us another blue flyer in play. And I think I want to start attacking with these guys too. I want to start doing something because we do have the Teutonic Rifts, which will make it so that his creatures can't block because he doesn't have any creature with a flying, at least not as of yet. So that's going to let, let my Talran go through. So if I can set up a situation where I can attack with my Talran for Fatal, that could work out. That was huge, though. Yes, now we can't cultivate. He still can't cultivate. So next we'll focus on popping his blue source. Yeah, we'll get rid of his blue source next. 
Obviously, he's got plenty of white, so killing his white lands doesn't make a lot of sense. He swings with the 3 3 and the 2 2. The 2 2 is first strike. The 3 3. I'm not going to block either one of those. We're going to let those go through for now. He attacks with everything. I'm gonna block his one ones. If he tries to do something fancy, I can vapor snag. God's willing. Uh, target creature gains protection from a color of your choice, so he's gonna give a pro blue. That's fine. It just means his thing doesn't die. That's pretty smart of him to swing with everything, actually. I'm gonna need to save for blockers now. I'm gonna need to save for blockers. Um, we could get more, we've got six? Yeah, we can do this. So we're gonna do this, and this is gonna get us two creatures in play. Because when we cast an for source, we're gonna get an elemental in play too. And next we're gonna have Teutonic Rift. I still think I'm dead though, because we got off to a little bit of a slow start. So I think, I'm, I, I think unfortunately I still just die. I'm so low right now. So now creatures without flying can't block, but I can't attack. I need to save everything for blockers right now. I have no choice. Okay, he can finally cultivate. And unfortunately, I won't be able to see what he digs through. Um, I won't be able to see what he pulls to his hand. I don't think anyways. I don't believe he has to reveal it. Yeah, he does. Okay, blue and green. So he gets another green, and but he only gets one blue. So I'm going to kill this blue source again. That's what we'll do. He should probably swing with everything. He doesn't. All right, let me block and kill the 3-3. Three, three. And we could block and kill the 2-2. Two, two. And we'll lose one of them. We'll lose two of these. We'll lose one of these two twos. Unless, of course, he's got pump up and it's going to do more than I think it is. Okay, okay. But we're going to get some more in play now. Um, so we can get two more creatures in play when we do another rift. And that's going to leave us with two mana, one of which we could use to play a vapor snag. We could kick her this, but that only gives us one creature. And then it destroys one land. So I'm going to prefer to do the Teutonic Rift right now. And we're going to go for his um, blue source. I'm going to kill the one blue land that he still has. So this gives us two creatures now. We still have mana for Vapor Snag, which will give us two more creatures. We are not attacking because we are way too low. My problem is, like, I'm not nowhere near winning. And if he just has minion pump up, it's like, <laughs> he's got it. All right. So next, I think I destroy his two red sources. Well, no, if I destroy his two green sources, I stop him from being able to cultivate a, th a third time. Mentor of the meek. Um, do I bounce that back to his hand to get two more minions? Because then next turn I can, yeah, let me do that now. I'm going to actually do this now. Because I want to maximize my minions in play. I kind of need to. I'm a, sort of in a desperate situation right now. And we're going to Mold Shambler with Kicker. To destroy another land. And get a creature in play. And I think we're focusing the green sources again. Now, at this point, I can start attacking... With, let's attack with all of my air. Six in the air. We still have five blockers. My concern, my big concern right now is that he can just have burn and just win at any point. I'm so low. Or even just creature pump up. But, I don't know, man. I might actually win this. Ah, another blue source. Alright, that'll be the one that I get next. 
I can't believe, first of all, how much land destruction that I've played this game. It's been kind of insane. We got off to a slow start, but boy, oh boy, did it ramp up. So here's replaying his mentor of the meek. And then what? <laughs> I can't believe this match. <laughs> okay, gets a 4-4 in play. He can't pay the kicker, so it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, he can't play the thing. The 4-4 really sucks for me. Um, damn. Mold Shambler with kicker again. His blue source. Yeah, it does. Actually, no. What about his... He's got one green source and one blue source. What do I go for? Let's go for his green source. Okay, so the question is, do I attack with my all my flyers now. I think I still do. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. He's got seven creatures, but I can block his biggest ones, and then I can kill him in two turns, potentially, with my air. And then I'd be good. Potentially. We don't know what that last card in his hand is. This is a nail biter. Holy moly. Uh, uh, it's down to this turn. Oh no, what is this? Oh my god. Oh, what? His life total becomes his starting life total. He's back at 20 life. I lose the game. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, I need to draw something insane. That's pretty good. Wait, that has protection from white. <gasps> it has protection from white. So he can't block it. Now, so do I save my flyers for blocking? I think I must. Play the resolute. We don't need to, uh, excuse me, the cunning spark of the resolute. So I just attack him with my, with my spark breath. With my f spark breath? Storm? I'm getting all these cards mixed up. Spark. I attack him with the dragon. Next turn. Can I mon- five, six, seven? I think, yeah, I can- I can- I can, uh, monstrosity it next turn. So that'll make it a seven, seven. Oh my goodness. We might have this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What does he have in his hand? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He passes the turn. All right, before the end of his turn, I'm gonna ping one of his one ones with my uh, spark mage. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, we're gonna monstrosity this. It's gonna make it a seven seven. It's gonna deal two damage to him, and then a seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. That's not enough to kill him yet. Wait, what if I attack with everything? Okay, how many ground creatures do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can ping one, so he'll have five ground creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can win if I attack with that. No, I only have one extra damage. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not enough to win right now. But I will just attack with the seven, seven in the air. That's enough. So this goes, this goes through, brings him down to seven, unless he's got bounce back or something. And then we pass the turn. Oh my God, am I gonna win? Oh my God, there's no way. There's no way I actually win this game. Mr. DD Matt. Don't you tell me that I actually win this game, Mr. DD Matt. What is this? What is this? Okay, he gets a 4-4 again. Oh no, wait, that's he returns a non-creature, non-land to his hand. What does he what does he have? Protection. He gives he has a creature to give protection. He gives that protection from blue. Protection from blue means I can't block it. He doesn't what? Why wait. Huh? What the hell? Why didn't what could He might have something fancy. What could he have? 
Should I not attack with everything? If I attack with everything, can he prevent that damage? He doesn't have enough mana for safe passage. I don't I don't really think he can. What is he doing? What if I don't attack with everything? What if I just attack for seven? Because if he's got something fan- he, This should- he should just die anyways, unless he has something fancy. Cloud shift. Bounces it back, re-gets his life back up. Oh my god, it is so good that I didn't attack with everything. <laughs> oh, it is so good that I didn't attack with everything. Alright, charm breaker devils. It is so- if I attacked with everything, he would have swung for the victory next turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna fully commit. I'm gonna go full bore here. We're not even going to- if he's got full board clear, whatever. Oh my god, it is so- if I attacked with everything, I would have lost the game. Thank you for not attacking with everything. <laughs> oh, Dennis, thank yourself, thank yourself so much. I can't even believe it. So we'll probably get land destruction back. Odds are. If we get a bane fire, I think we just win with that. Oh my god, thank you so much for not attacking with everything. Uh, <laughs> but now I have to uh, figure the contingency that he might have another cloud shift. So that means I can't attack with everything again. But I feel like he mustn't... He's doing all the math right now. But I feel like he mustn't have a like, guaranteed win if he... So if he has a safe passage, wouldn't he just swing with everything right now? Because why not? And then he just prevents it all? Like, he, I don't think he'd be taking this long unless he was figuring that he's probably dead next turn if he doesn't win right now. So I think he probably must be dead next turn. I mean, he's literally passing up his entire turn. He might have just realized that he lost this game and just walked away from the computer. <laughs> I think that's entirely possible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to operate under the assumption that he realized he lost this game. I pulled back the Bane Fire. Holy crap. So we should just win here. Right? Alright, well let's just, let's operate under the assumption that he, that he walked away from his computer because he realizes that he lost this game. And let's attack with everything. I hope this doesn't bite me in the bat butt. I thought through it and decided to not attack with everything last game. Last turn, and it turned out to be the wise idea. Let's see about this time around. One thing's for certain, though. He's not at his keyboard. Oh, there he is. He is at his keyboard. So let's see here. Making his decisions. Blocking the highest value stuff. How much goes through anyways? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why is he not blocking the 3-3 three, three with the 1-1? One, one? Oh my god, what is this? God's willing? That doesn't matter unless the Gry wins him something. Does it, doesn't matter. Force wins! What a crazy game that was. Holy guacamole. And you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to keep this. We only have one form of LD, and it is a six-drop land destruction with the kicker. Um, but we've got the Pyromancer, we've got the Shock, and we've got the Cultivate. And the Pyromancer into the Cultivate gives us some early board presence, so I think I'm going to keep this hand. So we start off with a red source, and then we play our... Eh... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to turn to Pyromancer unless I draw another untapped land. If I don't draw another untapped land, then I'm just gonna play the tap land so that I can cultivate. Well, maybe I just set the cultivate off an extra turn just to get the Pyromancer out. I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world. Cause then I can start swinging with something. So let's just go with that, I guess. The delayed cultivate isn't amazing, but 
This gives me an option to swing with something. If he plays things I want to kill, I'll get more creatures in play because of the Pyromancer with the shocks or the Vapor Snags or whatever. And he's a slow, he's slow. He's running slow here, so. Okay, okay, now I can cultivate now, which is perfect, That's, that works out for me. Cultivate gets a creature going. Two lands, um, what do I need? I got a second blue. Let's get a let's just get a red and a green. Let's get a red and a green because we've got one blue in play already. Swing for two. Okay, so that ended up working out. Now next turn we can't do LD yet though. We're gonna have to still wait two more turns because we need to do the kicker for the mold shambler to, for, to actually destroy a land. And I don't want to just play the body. Oh my god, four cult this see, so land destruction can work very, very well in a deck that's more than two colors. Very, very well indeed. All right, let's play the Guild Gate. And I'm going to... I'm actually gonna play a Pyromancer right now. I'll tell you why. It's because if he tries to remove one of my Pyromancers, I can actually Vapor Snag it, and then I'll get double the, the Pyromancer effect with both of them in play. I was thinking during combat if he if he tried to do something fancy like that. Okay, so Question is what do I kill usually in a multicolor deck? I, I want to go for the green source so it stops him from fetching 1-4 sacrifice another creature corpse blockade gains a death touch until end of turn Shoot I should have bounced that back Now I can't attack with these guys um, Whatever I'm gonna mold shambler with kicker right now and we're gonna destroy his green source. That's absolutely, in a multicolor deck, stop him from being able to fetch. Now the problem is we don't have a lot of um, LD right now, but we could vapor snag our mold chambler back to our hand post combat next turn or something. We're not gonna attack with anything right now because then he just kills it with his one four. I might do it, I don't know. I could double shock. Act of treason, that sucks. And then he can sacrifice it. That sucks. Well, I'm not going to let him kill off any of my other creatures. I guess I can just block it with my 3-3 three, three so I prevent the damage at least. He's going to sacrifice it anyways. So I'm not getting this guy back at the end of turn. It's not happening. He'd be stupid not to sacrifice it, so I might as well prevent the damage. Okay. So, let's see here. If I play this, I can attack... Vapor snag and then replay it. Eh. Uh, yeah, he probably won't block it, right? Well, let's just attack first. Let's attack with a 3 3. He probably won't block it. No, he will, but then I can shock that, which is what I want to do. We, we, need, we want to get rid of that so I can start attacking in the future. And since I can't do my combo right now, I'm just going to play the Frontier. Because I can't bounce it back and replay it with Kicker right now. So we're just going to play the Frontier. And then next turn, we can attack with it, bounce it back, play it again with Kicker. And, and, and then he might, if he doesn't, yeah, I think he's just going to lose the game. <laughs> because um, he, he isn't drawing into many, many more lands. And even though we haven't drawn into a lot of land destruction, because we can do our combo here... Um, I'm pretty sure he's just screwed. And what do we want to get rid of as our, our next source? We already got rid of his green. Let's get rid of his red source next. Stops him from potentially being able to burn or something. So we're going to do this now so that next turn we can attack with it. So we bounce this back. We do uh, lose a life, but whatever. We also get a 1-1 one -one in play. And then we play it again with Kicker. And we kill his red source. Or his white source. <laughs> this is the sort of, uh, this is the sort of thing that <laughs> he, he leaves the game because <laughs> this is what I call LD induced rage. Before the end of his turn, we shock him for two. This gives us another token in play. 
and I think we will just have the win next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, unless he's got something special going on. <laughs> this is the sort of the the rage that land destruction induces, and it's why it is why it is so fun to play. It is so fun to play. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Friday Night Magic. I will see you next week. Have a fantastic, what is this? Suffer the past, he's gonna, yeah, okay, never mind. he's not dead yet. <laughs> what a dillweed, huh? Just for that, I'm gonna have to tonic rift his land. It's over, it's just a matter of going through the motions now. I mean, I guess it's possible with two lands that he can do something. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Friday Night Magic. Tune in next week. I promise you it won't be under the land destruction deck. I just, I, I, it's so much fun. It is so much fun <laughs> to play land destruction. Even if the other end, the receiving end, is not so fun. I'll see you later.